Don't just live for tomorrow Or just live for yesterday Just be glad for all you have that's in today And though you've come through many obstacles Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my blind reaction to Harley Quinn, Season 3, Episodes 9 and 10, the finale of the season. Uh, so let's just go over this right away, obviously, just to get it out of the way and everything. Um, like I've made very clear, I've not really been a huge fan of this season, and it's been, people have been trying to explain to me why it's not that bad that they took steps back and everything they've been trying to you you've been trying to explain to me in the comments why it's like oh they they're redefining harley and ivy's characters it's like not really they're just expanding upon them a little bit they're not really redefining them um but you're trying to explain you've been trying to explain to me why it's not a big deal for them to like lower the stakes and take a step back for this season and you've been saying like stuff like, oh, it's actually not a, a big deal for a longer series to have a season where it steps back. It's not, it doesn't have to just continue raising the stakes and the bar every time. And it's like, it depends on the type of series it is for me. A, a show like, let's say My Little Pony, for example, Friendship is Magic, a show like that is almost purely episodic in nature with maybe some uh with with uh long-running story arcs only really brought in in like season four the series as and even then even then it's like as a whole it's still well i mean there was kind of a story arc in season one but you know what i mean not really but you know what i mean um but either way it's still mostly very episodic to the point where it's, each episode is practically its own thing. And you could easily go into pretty much any episode outside of like premieres and finales without any knowledge of anything else before it. And you would probably be fine. Like there's very few episodes that you directly need knowledge of stuff that came before it to get into with that series. Because of that, the series can fluctuate a little bit. It, it can allow it to go up and down in terms of stakes and quality and everything and general intensity. But for a series like this that has like an ongoing plot pretty much at all times, even if, mo even if some episodes do tend to have more ep of an episodic like through line through them, like it's like, oh, this episode's about them going to Swamp Thing. But at the same time, everything in that episode, the reason they were going to see Swamp Thing and everything was connected to previous things that were already happening. Even um, uh, Nora's part in it was connected to things that had already happened that you couldn't just get outside of that. And with a series like that, that, that is more story-oriented where things lead into each other more heavily, I feel like you need to continue raising the stakes. To have a sudden dip in the series where it just suddenly goes into a very lighter tone and lighter, well, not really lighter tone, but lighter uh, stakes and not as much intensity, not as much excitement. It's like, it, it feels like it just kind of lost track of where it was going it doesn't feel it, like it feels like it was like building up to something and then just kind of ignored it for a season that's what it felt like after season three it felt like this season was going to be intense and exciting and jam-packed with all kinds of awesome stuff but that that's where last season left it off to where it felt like it was going to go and then instead it's just it's kind of boring and it's like outside of the Harley and Ivy stuff, pretty much nothing from this season is good. Like the stuff with Joker and and Gordon and and Two Face helping Gordon and everything, all of that is pretty bad. They tried to shoehorn this stuff in with uh, 
with King Shark near the end of the season in the later half with all with his family and everything. And it's like, and his kingdom. And so it's like, I don't care about this at this point. And, and the Clayface stuff was just pointless. And then you, you have like some Bat Family stuff going on, but it doesn't really amount to much. Like Bruce... His deal with Catwoman is the only thing that's actually important in regards to that. And even that's not even that interesting. Like, the entire time I'm watching anything else in this season, I just want to get back to Harley and I because it's the only thing that feels like it actually makes sense. It's the only thing that feels like it's a natural continuation of the last season. Everything else feels like it just completely took a sidestep out of nowhere to focus on random stuff that was not built up to. At least not properly enough to make it worthwhile to focus on. I just... I just didn't like it. And only, the, the last two episodes were a lot better... But that's because they're starting to get more intense. But even so, it's still just at this point, just zombies. Like, you go from the shit we had last season to zombies? It just feels weak and kind of boring. But it is the most exciting thing that's happened this season, which is... Not hard to do, but still. And, and, and if you view things differently than me, that's fine. If you, if your priorities or interests or whatever else in a series or a movie or anything are different from mine, that's completely fine. It's all subjective. Quality of shows is subjective and how that quality is determined is subjective. Your guys' talk about, like, what you think that this is doing for the series and everything, and about this being, like, good to build on the characters or whatnot. If that's how you view the series and how you view how this is working, that's fine. But that's still your subjective viewpoint. That's not how I view the series. That's not how my viewing experience for shows works. I go based on what my personal subjective experience is, and I have not been enjoying this because of those reasons that I've been calling out throughout this season. I feel this is the weakest season of Harley Quinn by far. Again, the only thing I feel that saves it at all is the Har, Har Livey stuff. And maybe this ending, if it really actually ends up working. Uh, I, I can't even determine that until it actually, you know, happens. But, yeah, I'm just, I'm disappointed. And I'm allowed to be disappointed. I'm allowed to not like this. I'm allowed to not like how they chose to do this season. Just like you're allowed to like it. And through these reactions, I'm simply going to share my viewpoint. I'm simply going to share my opinion. And if, if you want to continue to share yours, that's great. Please do so. I encourage that. I always want you guys to do that. But I'm just saying, this is my viewpoint on it. And this is just how this season has been for me. So yeah. Um, so I, like I said last time, I'm hoping that we get at least a, one Grundy reference with these zombies happening and all. Um, and I'm excited to see like how they work the zombies. Like how vulnerable are they going to be? And how is this even going to end? I assume we're going to have the Bat family probably working alongside Harley and Ivy and them. 
Um, but like, there's so much potential for this, like to show a bunch of other characters that we've seen throughout this series. There's potential for a lot of great jokes, a lot of just really fun, exciting humor, a lot of potential for intense action. Like, remember how when all the plants were brought to life and started eating people before? Like, I think that was season one. Yeah, that would have been season one. Remember when that happened? Like, the, the plants and the trees started eating and ripping apart people and how excitingly intense that was? I, that's the kind of shit I want to see from these zombies. I don't want them to hold back and just not show a bunch of blood and gore and stuff here. I want that shit. I want this to be a good zombie apocalypse kind of thing where people are dying. As morbid as that sounds, I want people to fucking die. And I want it to be gloriously intense and scary and bloody and gory. That is the kind of shit I want from this. Um, but honestly, who knows? We'll just have to see how it goes. And even if this season does end off with a sputter rather than a boom, uh, hopefully the confirmed fourth season will be better uh but in the meantime we're just going to get this going so when the screen fades to black pause this redirect and go to the description below follow the link to the reaction and after you watch it come back here to the redirect and resume play because after it fades to black and then fades back in everything for that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episodes so that being said thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you at the reaction and we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in three, two, one, now. So, I'm just going to say that this definitely confirms this as the weakest season so far. Um, that was a pitiful excuse for a zombie apocalypse. It was lacking in violence... It was extremely tame and just uninteresting. And honestly, I just didn't care. Nothing about it was entertaining. Nothing about it was fun. Nothing about it was scary. And it's like, they had so much potential for shit to do with it. Even without the entire Solomon Grundy joke that they could have put in. Even ignoring that, it's like, again, it's just, they didn't do anything with it. Like, they completely seem to refuse to have any blood or gore in relation to it. And it's like, really, now you're being shy on that? You have the trees and the plants eating people, but this is like, this isn't the time for you to put in blood and gore? This? <sighs> And then you have episode 10, and, it, and this entire final, like, argument this season and, and, and conflict between Harley and Ivy going kind of their separate ways and all is, it feels forced. It doesn't feel natural at all. Um... And, and pretty much it came out of nowhere with this with this finale itself. Um, and, and the thing is, it's kind of unclear where it, it went at the end. Like, is Ivy still leading the new Legion of Doom or is she not? It's, it's unclear. Because if, if she is then fuck that ending. If she's not, and if she actually did just choose to uh, side with Harley more and just kind of be, I guess, neutral more so, because, you know, she's not going to be a good guy at this moment. Um, but then that's okay. Because, I I'm sorry, but it's not supporting her if you still actively choose to side against her. And choosing to remain on the literal opposite side, knowing that Harley is becoming a 
hero and joining the Bat family, if if she chooses to remain as a villain and continue to um to go with her plan of running the new Legion of Doom and everything, that's not supporting Harley. In fact, it's quite the opposite. And, but it's unclear if that's where it's going or not. It it it, it kind of leaves it un unclear on whether or not she's actually going to still run the Legion of Doom or not. So I don't even fucking know. But this last episode, honestly, was kind of boring. And even the Harl Ivy stuff in these last two episodes was honestly boring. Like, they just didn't... They tried to force in a conflict that just did not work. They used what could have been an amazing zombie apocalypse scene and just did absolutely nothing with it. And the entire final plots and stuff in, in, in the last episode after the zombie apocalypse was done and all was just, again, boring, uninteresting, unenjoyable. I really hope season four improves on things because this was just this was not it if you like this that's fine that's you're allowed that opinion and everything just as anyone is allowed their own opinions and their own thoughts don't just take mine as fact it's just my viewpoint but yeah i just i really did not like this ending episodes 9 and 10 were both just really bad to me and it's just, this was a real huge disappointment. Considering how good seasons one and two were, the fact that this just took this big of a dump, it is just exceptionally disappointing. And it's like, I just... I can't say I enjoyed it. I can't say I enjoyed the season. Honestly, I'm glad for it to be over. And I'm going to say right now, I don't know when they plan for season four to come out or whatnot. Probably late next year, I would I would guess. Um but I'm going to say right now that it's it's going to take some convincing to get me back on board with this series. The first couple episodes of season four are definitely going to have to impress me to turn me around on this. Because I just feel like there's a lot of issues here that just really took a downturn for this series for me. And if they just continue to take this kind of route on things, if they continue to just do this stuff that, for me at least, is bad, I'm not going to want to continue watching. So, I really hope that Season 4 starts to bring things back around, because otherwise... I'll probably end up dropping it after a couple episodes. It really does have to turn things back around. But yeah, this season was a huge disappointment. And honestly, I'm just, I'm, I'm wiping my hands of it here. We're just going to move on and focus on other things for now so now with this done we have to get a replacement and the replacement is already set because while this is uh while this is gonna 
obviously be airing pretty well after it's originally recorded. Um, we are going to be moving kind of right into Chainsaw Man. Um, I don't know much of anything about Chainsaw Man. I'll talk more about that when the first episode reaction comes along. But I am interested to see what all the hype is about. So we'll kind of just go from there. Um, but in the meantime, tell me in the comments below what you thought of these final two episodes of Harley Quinn Season 3. And for now, I'm Connie and I'm signing off. See y'all next time.